everybody. How are you? Everyone's having a good day. Wait till some of y'all get in the room. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. <laughs> hey, who I got watching me today? Oh, I got four of y'all. Hi, guys. I know one of them's me. Uh, <laughs> Jay Taylor, what's up, man? How are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, when you guys get into the room, just announce who you are. Say hello. Or get a good old, nice old hearty swap! You don't have to do it in falsetto, I'm just saying. Just give a shout out when you're here. Jay, it's so good to see you, Jay. Hey, also Jay, thanks for uh, checking up on me, making sure I was okay, uh, moving and dealing with the situation uh, with my family. Um, thank you very much for checking up on me, making sure I'm okay, and making sure I didn't get too into my depression, which definitely helps, so thank you very much. All right, guys, wow. So it's been a heck of a week, hasn't it? I know it has for me. Uh, sorry, I missed the show on Monday. I've been moving this past weekend. So uh, yeah, lots to do. And yeah, I'm sore. I'm in sore, sore in places I didn't think you could be sore at. And it was so humid. I didn't even know I could sweat in places where I didn't even know you could sweat from. So wow, holy cow. Hate moving in August, it sucks. This is going to be the last time. So we just had Swarm Weekend from August 27th, 28th, and 29th. Thank for you, everybody who partook in um, this wonderful 14th anniversary of all things coffee and comics. So I want to show you guys some of the uh, prizes we have going out. Uh, we said we'd give out prizes for best heartfelt social media posts, funniest media posts, Best Coffin Comics Collection Display, Sexiest Post of a Gal Reading Coffin Comics, Sexiest Post of a Guy Reading Coffin Comics, Best Animal Post. Get your furry friends involved. So, here's what I am going to show you for Best Heartfelt. We have here, The world outside is a crazy place. So many different views. Living with mental health issues like anxiety, depression, make it almost impossible to feel like you have a safe place in the world. Uh, before I bought anything Coffin or Chaos, I saw that individuals who were already been into Lady Death were like a family. I would see them randomly send books because they enjoyed sharing and cared about making their friends happy and make a surprise trip to go hunting for gems to cheer up a down friend. That's true, that is very true. This is a heck of an amazing group. Besides all the amazing artwork, fantastical stories, uh, when you begin collecting these tombs, you not only get to enjoy uh, these things, but you also find a safe place to feel like you are just hanging out with the family. No BS, no hating, just love and badass comics. Hell yeah! Thank you for uh, taking this little piece of the world, a fun, awesome spot. Uh, to be an anxious fly in the wall and providing me with more sanity and relief. Nick Addinkinson. Dude, Nick, welcome to the group. Thank you for that beautiful post. Uh, this is a really nice photo you sent with it. And um, yeah, this group is amazing. Uh, I, I too suffer from uh, depression, anxiety like yourself. Uh, and this group has really um, given me so much support. So I 100% I agree with you on that. Thank you for sharing your heartfelt one and congratulations on winning. Okay, uh, here's another one. One weekend that changed the game for me was Fiend Fest 2019. I was just super thankful for that weekend because before that, I was really only one person I knew that was into Lady Death. Meeting everyone at the fest and even people I've gotten to know more after have been all like instant friends to me. So, wow, dude, that's awesome, Dan. I, I'm really, God, no wonder we picked two heartfelt ones. Not like people uh, you're cool with, but ride or die type of friends. Uh, like, if you ever need anything, I got you. 
I also never met such a warm art community. I challenge anyone to find that anywhere else. And you can't, nor will you won't. I mean, there might be groups we don't know of, but all I know about this is this group matters. Matthew Davis, thank you uh, very much for your other heartfelt um, swearing with us. And great photo. I love that photo. That, absolutely amazing. I remember that. That was a great time. Here's the ones that won for funniest. And this, this really caught my eye. I don't always claim to be the happiest man on earth, but when I do, it's because I just read Coffin Comics. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, when I printed off the, uh, the thing, it cut off uh, the winner for the funniest. Um, but that right there, that's a meme, man. That is awesome. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to read your name. It was at the end, but maybe Jimmy can find it and uh, post it down the bottom. But that picture is legendary. All right, this is for more. I don't think I could compete with Haley's sexiest post of a guy reading comics, but I thought I'd give it a shot. <laughs> Dude, that is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Mort. Uh, that was... <laughs> That's pretty damn sexy, I think. You sexy man beast, you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, best Coffin uh, Comics display, Mike Grove. Happy Sworn Day, everybody. I feel my humble lady death uh, corner is now complete with additional resolute print. Wall relief hanging up in the far left. Thank you, Brian, Francesca, and the rest of the Coffin crew for releasing such kick-ass stuff. And cheers to the Swarm community. All right, this is the best Coffee Comics collection display. And yeah, that's beautiful, man. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Mike, for sharing. Here's the other one for the best Coffee Comics collection display. Chris Brooks. Happy Swarm weekend. As it comes to a close, I want to share a small portion of my prize collection. It's not easy to only pick a few things to share, but I just kind of went for it. Congratulations to Coffin Comics on 14 years and many more. And I know for sure I will be along for the ride. Chris, thank you. Thank you. And that is some beautiful displays. I love the little mini display case, that display case you have right there. That is stunning, man. Beautiful setup. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you everyone who uh, contributed and shared over the weekend. It was, it's always beautiful to see. Um, all right. It's always beautiful to see. I love it. I love when people show off their collections because you're showing your love of us out there and you guys are spreading the word. So thank you very much. All right. Sexiest gal reading coffin comics. Uh, I apologize if I say this uh, wrong, please forgive me. Uh, Anahi Kano, uh, I am happy to be part of this group. People are great here. Happy Swarm Day, y'all keep on rocking. Thank you, also a shout out to you and William Kano. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Beautiful display photos. I really like uh, your figurine setup and I like how you have your uh, prints along the wall. Very nice. Very, very sexiest gal reading Coffin Comics. All right, and here, here's the one. Mark, I, I still think yours is sexy. I think it's awesome, hilarious. This is Haley Anderson. Here's a slight more serious submission for the sexiest post of a gal reading Coffin Comics, or should that be sexiest post of a guy reading Coffin Comics? I decided to be a little bit artsy this time, did a bit of gender bending and a little bit of 1940s style. I, I, I could show that, I won't get in trouble, will I? No. Yes. Thank you, Haley. Uh, all the way from the other side of the world in Australia. Um, I can't wait to see you guys all at Sworn Fest. I am so excited. It's gonna be amazing. All right, sexiest guy reading coffin. Tony Pop is in the house. Look at this guy. Happy Sworn Day from the Champs. Hell to the yeah, man. That is epic. Nice, Tony. Look at you. I love the stone cold vest too, man. That's just, hell yeah. Thank you very much. All right. And this one again, it cut off the name. <laughs> sure, honey, you could buy all the coffee comics you want. 
All right, now that's pretty damn sexy too. Look at that. You got the hair slicked back. You got the leather on. Hell yeah. And I love that Lamarcha shirt. I love it. And dude, your little coffee shadow box, truly amazing. I love this. Thank you. Thank you one and all. All right, best animal po uh, post. Um, again, it, it cuts off the name, uh, but it's uh, Evolver Soul. I hope I said that right. Arnie is a big fan of vengeance. In fact, he's still looking for the man who shot his paw. That's why he's so stoked to have got these two Lamerta trades featuring awesome art by Joe Gomez and Lady Dark's Fisher Kickstarter. Happy Sworn Day. Yeah, that is cute. That is cute. I love that. Get that dog reading that Lamerta stuff. Hell yeah. So, oh, oh, I haven't seen this one. This one's really cute. Um, I'm not gonna pronounce the name because I know I'm gonna mess it up and I hate to do that. Uh, but I'll read what it says. Don't know if I'm too late for the sworn day pet post. Wow, that has a nice ring to it. Uh, but I still want to post it by pic of my oldest cat and my first rescue baby, Prince Jackie. First uh, of his name, great killer of rodents, judge of human mistakes, <laughs> king of all fresh salmons, professional reader of all coffin comics books, eater of fresh uh, Caledonian shrimps. Wow, this, this cat's got a better diet than I do. Wisest of the pure black fur babies. Uh, found it as a tiny kitten 11 years ago and now an amazing big cat of 8 kilos. That's a heavy cat. Uh, he's taller than common cats, but he's so kind I wanted to share one of my black babies' uh, cats because still got a bad reputation and are less adopted. That is true. Black cats are less likely to be adopted than any other color of cats. Adopt a black cat, because they're boo-boo kitties. Halloween kitties. I love black kitties. And here we go. Here's that lovely photo. I love the collar with the uh, pens on it. That's just the buttons are cute. That is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for those amazing posts. Um, the little bit I was able to jump onto the internet, uh, I was seeing them, but thank you everyone for sharing. You guys are truly amazing and truly outrageous, funny, sexy, the whole nine yards. That's the Coffin Comics group. That is the Swarm Club. Those are the fiends. All right, so can you believe it? Six weeks until Hell Witch versus Lady Death number one, Wargasm. Cannot believe it. Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. Prepare to have a wargasm. <sighs> oh yeah, I had multiple already. <laughs> also, uh, Sacrificial Annihilation, the kick current Kickstarter for Lady Death Chapter 14. You've got nine more days to back it. Spread the wealth, share the love, show everybody White Coffin is the best outlaw comic distributor in the world and into the stratosphere and beyond. All right, so Kickstarter's going well. We just dropped a new two book uh, edition. Jump in and get it today. Uh, you can do it as an add-on or you can choose that as a reward if you haven't backed the campaign already. So share those links. Tell people, hey, you should check out Coffee Comics because they are in the know and what they know is everything amazing. So some of the things uh, we did is for tipping in across all physical rewards, we have a golden medal edition by Eric Basaluda. We have the azure blue. We have the violet from Rick. And we tipped in the last 33 of the all-important five-vote totems. If you receive this in your Kickstarter, that gives you a chance to have five votes to see who wins between Hell Witch or Lady Death. You get to choose the outcome of this story that was wrapping up. Death Apocalypse has been a year long event, tying in with all our groups, uh, all our titles, I should say, all our characters emerging, and they're going to just fight like they've never fought before. So please, please, please back our uh, campaign. Go ahead and share it with people you like because it's because of you guys and gals. We have grown to where we are because of your love, because of your support, and because of your dedication to us. So thank you very much. That is right. Lady Death Chapter 14, Scarlet 
not scarlet, sacrificial annihilation, nine days left to black it. We still got a lot of cool stuff coming your way. Uh, we uh, released some of the uh, Ash Hands editions. Um, we brought back the Cauldron for all you folks. We also recently released the Scarlet Metal Edition and the Black Metal, which is hot, hot, hot. All right, guys, I just got a few more minutes to get things going on the catacombs. Uh, again, thank you, everyone, for uh, all the uh, good luck wishes for the move and whatnot. Let me just go back here. Um, here we go. <coughs> Eric Hart, how's it going? Um... Caitlin, hi, I'll wave back to you. Uh, two different shows, seven days a week. Oh my God, Jay, come on, don't let him kill you. Seven days, come on, man. Manuel, thank you for joining us today, Manuel. Oh, glitch. Uh, I'm trying to get the hair did too. Okay. Yeah, reach out to us in inquiries at coffincomics.com. Uh, Jay Taylor just went ahead and shared the link. So I guess I'm going to show you guys what I got for today's catacombs. Um, and again, guys and gals, thank you very much. Uh, and again, um, I hope I'm glad everyone had a sworn weekend. So let's start off things right. Uh, I, I, I can't believe we found these, but we found three of the Coffin Comics crew patch set. These are the last ones and includes the following, if I have any left. Just so you know, the large Coffin Comic patch. It also comes with all this other cool stuff. I think there's like six or seven different patches in here. You got the Coffin Crew patch, the Sworn patch, Coffin Comics logo for right there. Damn, that's sexy. Circular patch for wherever you want it. And not only that, this is cool. The Coffin Crew Sworn, bam. All of that, there's only three of these sets left. Um, I haven't seen any in over a year or more, actually more than a year, um, and they just, bam, there they were. Uh, so I am so happy to bring those to you, especially uh, after this one weekend. Um, so scoop them up, guys. I only got three of these patch sets available today. I, I'm in the same boat you are, Jay. I, there's not a lot of things I can afford at all. Uh, especially after this move. Um, I never thought there was so much involved with getting a house. Oh my God, was it crazy. But man, it was so much worth it. Nothing like owning your own property and sitting on your back porch thinking, no one can mess with me. And if I want to put a 20-foot Godzilla statue in my backyard, I can. Okay, I better ask the wife first. But I can. Just saying. All right, here we are. I'm gonna start things off with the uh, nice, I uh, found a case of these. This is Drawn, The Art of Dawn McTeague Hardcover Art Books. These are running at $40. I got about over 15 available. These are the last ones. This is a warehouse find. Um, I guess this is uh, something we found. Going through, uh, looking for deep things in the catacombs. Sometimes I find some stuff that's like, holy cow, when did this show up? So it's always fun to do that. And again, a round of applause to Dakota. She is a hell of a great partner and she's been finding some really amazing things for you guys. Um, now all I need is a 20 foot Godzilla statue to put in the backyard. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. I know this, but I like to have fun. Um, Thank goodness my wife isn't watching because I'm sure she'd make a comment. All right, let's start things off with these two editions. I have Treacherous Infamy, Premier Edition, signed by Brian Polito. These are scratch and dent, and they have the silver lettering. Silver lettering, not gold lettering. They are silver, and I have two available. Books are so nice. Brian only signed them once. Ha, ah, made you think. All right, next scratch and dent I have for you, and I only got one. This is Lady Death Masters, Mike Chrome Premier Edition. Booyah! Available right now. All right. I got a lot of publisher files for this show for you guys today. 
Let's start with Lady Death Revelations number one, Jose Varsenati edition, limited to 50. One available right now. One and done. Yum, yum, come get some. Really beautiful image. Um, also, speaking of beautiful images, those uh, mystery envelopes I'm seeing everyone post what they're getting, you guys, it's awesome. Keep them coming, share those links, share everything. Oops, did I miss the comment? No. All right, this is Lady F Dreams, Fresh Blood, Ken Hunt Edition, limited to 35 copies. This is a publisher of a file. Publisher file. Da, 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 da. Okay, I better hope I not get that one song in the 70s stuck in my head or else I'll have to die um, or hurt myself. I don't know. Can't, can't stand it. I've been having weird music stuck in my head all day. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, fiend and sworn alike. I present to you, Lady Death Swim Fruit, uh, Swim Fruit, Swimsuit Number One, David Harrigan, nice edition. This is a publisher file, and David Harrigan has signed the top. This is a scratch and dent item, and it only cost you thirty dollars. Thirty dinero. It's the only one I got signed by Mr. Harrigan. All right, continuing with the theme of publisher files, I have for you today Lady Death Revelation, Elias Chatzuda, Naughty Edition, limited to 50. This is a publisher file. That is a stunning book. Thank you, Elias. You've really done some beautiful work, and you can tr continue to do so, just like all the other amazing artists we have here at Coffin Comics. Each of you have just done amazing work, and I applaud you all. Next up, this is Dragon Wars number one, Infinity Verse Iron Age Edition, limited to 30. It is a publisher f -f 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 file. They aren't, huh? All right, let's see. Eric, if you can let me know which ones aren't on the store. And that way I could let uh, Dakota and them know. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Hey, Jimmy, can you check to see uh, what Eric is asking about? Um, some of the books aren't on the site, so if we could take a look at that and get those up. Um, give a shout out to Dakota. Dakota! Da -da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Last few. Here we go. Bam! Let's see. Some of these books aren't on the site. Okay. I'll Dakota look at it. Message me if there's something you miss. Uh, let me know. Checking. <laughs> Another published file. Lady Death Secrets Duality Lady Satanis Edition. Boom. Uno mas, uno mas. I got one available right now. Digni hey, Miguel's here. Hey, Miguel. Dude, it's so good to see your text. Nice to see you, brother. All right, here we go. La Muerta fans, this is La Muerta Pinups Victorian Edition Publisher File. Monsieur Richard Gomez has done the art here, of course. Beautiful art. This is, I really love the detail he really puts in like the uh, lace and the linens of this piece. It's really stunning. God, you gotta have a lot of patience and some just really nice eyes to be able to pull something off like that. I can draw a mean stick figure, but that's about it. All right, another publisher file, La Muerta Pinups, number one, Space Case Edition. Boo! you? Bam, right there for you. And last but not least, again, another amazing find by Dakota. This is Lady Death, Scorched Earth, Jeweled Edition, and it is signed by Brian Polito. One left, one and done, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miguel, 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 it's so good to see you. Oh my God. So nice to see all of you. Um, let me check my time. Okay, I got a few more minutes. I want to say a couple shout outs. Uh, this group, uh, and, and it reminds me of something um, that was said when I was reading off the winners. Um, you are important. Don't let anyone tell you guys otherwise. You're important to us. 
you're important to this group, don't let anyone beat you down. If you need a hand with anything, this group of fiends of the swarm, they are damn good at supporting each other and helping each other out. I've seen that countless of time in my almost three years here. And if anyone's new, I welcome you. Reach out to this group. You are going to be so blessed to know these people and to just share your lives with them. Um, we have a hell of a community. This community would not have existed without all y'all. And for all you old timers who've been out there with us for way back, way back in the day, thank you for being the ambassadors to the newcomers to us. I don't think we would be at where we're at today successfully without uh, the ambassadors, as I like to say. They're the oldest group of fans. They are there from the beginning. They were there for uh, Brian Polito coming back into publishing. And I think it's on their shoulders that we continue to press forward and move forward to be the publisher we are. And I am so happy to be here and be a part of it, as is everyone that works here at HQ. So on behalf of me and the entire crew, sorry I'm scruffy, but I can't find my shaving gear. <laughs> uh, but anyways, on behalf of all of us here, uh, we'd like to thank you, Swore Nation fiends, all of you guys, readers, fans, devoted. Thank you very much. We are all sworn to you. I will see you guys on Monday with another heap and helping of some real good times with my co-host, Jimmy Coffin. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Ow!